Pacquan, have you heard from your family? I mean, is everything okay? Uh, Did y'all get much rain back there? I mean, most of the cities are flooded. Most of them are evacuated. But my family, I mean, from the looks of the yard and everything, it's fine there. Yeah. I mean, but like close enough in proximity to where I live, uh, there's been evacuations. So. Were you worried about that all weekend? I mean, where, I mean, did it? Were you thinking about it? Oh uh, yeah. I mean, it's. I mean, it, it was always on my mind. Yeah. Cause uh, the storm was unpredictable about where it was going to hit at first. So I was. I mean, I thought about it, but like my mom and they came up, so they were at the game. So oh, I, I was like, you. that was the main concern. They evacuated to Columbus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically. I got you, man. Yeah. They saw you play very well. You're a defensive player of the game. I uh, had some mm -hmm. big plays. Um, how do you think you're playing right now? Uh, I mean, I wouldn't be able to play this well without like the guys on the back end and I mean, the guys that's next to me. So, like, it's it's a whole unit thing, and like, if everybody does their job and the plays that come to you, you just got to make them. So that's the main thing. Did you like, think that call was going to be reversed, the one where you strip sacked? I don't know. <laughs> I really didn't. I was. I just felt like I just had to do my job, and I, I put my fundamentals on film because that's one thing we do. Like, often we always swipe at the ball, always trying to get a turnover. You see guys, though, sometimes if a call doesn't go their way like that on a review, and they get frustrated, they get angry. What, what was your reaction? I mean, I kind of felt like it was a fumble. <laughs> I mean, I put, I'm like, you know, you go hard. I mean, come on, you need to have it, something like that. But for the most part, I was, I just wanted to like go hard and like at least try to like make the play and make uh, cause the turnover. Because like, like I said, we put put fundamentals on film and you know swiping at the ball. That's like that's a turning point in any game. So. When, when they have a review and they show it up on the scoreboard, do you pay more attention to it when it's your play? Uh, I mean, I look at it if it was anybody else's play. It's probably the same excitement for like Sam or Jalen or someone else on the D-line. So, uh, I mean, I just, it, it's it, it's like one person's success is everybody's success. You mentioned Jalen. What, what's he added to this defense? He kind of seems like an unsung hero with the versatility he, he brings to the line. I mean, like I said, Jalen, like all year, like even before this, like for everybody who doesn't know Jalen, Jalen is like, he, he's this guy who like has a motor, who like enjoys it, very passionate about like the D-line and the team. I mean, he's a great guy. So, I mean, he's probably one, he's the ideal teammate. He's a great teammate. Are there any in-house rewards for forcing a turnover? I, I mean, Buckeye Leaf, free t-shirt, just, I, is there any called up to the front of the room? Do you get any I mean, reward? All right. A t-shirt, that was about it. I mean, you get t-shirts for like being player of the game or something, or like you get, I mean, I'm, I'm not. I just wondering, I did you get the t-shirt <laughs> even though the car, the call was wrong? Do you think it was wrong? The, the, well, the, the, I think it should have been a fumble. Oh, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I don't dictate that. that that's the side, that's between Coach Meyer and everybody else. I mean, if I could, then. I mean, I think everybody get t-shirts. <laughs> hey, I thought they had double clutch. You know what I mean? So that's what I'm. Hey, you know, right. His hand happened to be there. Take right. one. Is there is there a sense of uh, what is the sense of like confidence? I guess with this defense right now, and compared to maybe last year, because last year was a pretty good defense, <laughs> for right. any measure, you know. But y'all are continually continuing to make plays at the right. What, how would you describe this defense to someone right now? You're not still young, are you? No. I mean, it's hungry, we're a hungry defense. We're always looking to get better. Like, I, I can tell you, like, guys in practice, like, period 15, 16, getting late in practice, about to go to team period. Then guys, they seem to go harder as the mm -hmm. team period goes on. So, like, you just tell everybody is, like, trying to work their craft and get ready for Saturday. Because when Saturday approaches, everybody, like, is on top of their game. And, that's why we play so well now, because the practice during the week, they're like phenomenal. We practice so hard. What explains that? Well, why, why is that? I mean, is it because so many guys that can get to play? I mean, what, what do you think is driving that, that it's approach? The, it's the culture. It's the culture, you know, the leaders, set the tone, like it's been passed down from year after year, and the culture of the leaders and like, the leaders, I mean, well, the leaders set the culture and then the culture and like, it just, mm -hmm. it just spreads. It's like, it's like cancer. Like, you can't accept nothing else. And you gotta get everyone to trust you, and everybody buys in. Like, 
what the leaders say, like what your unit leader says, and then like you have no choice but but to go hard. Okay, hard. Uh, you know, your play, uh, Nick Bosa had to had to tackle on the goal line play, but Michael Hill had good penetration there. Robert Landers. Right. Uh, what does that do for a, a group to to make plays like that that lead clearly, obviously, to a victory? What does it, from a confidence standpoint, what does it do for it? It shows how how we're on the rise. Like the defensive line, the whole defense is like always on the rise. And you, like for everyone who like doesn't think of it that way, or like we put on film our fundamentals and what we're supposed to do and how we're supposed to play, and we just play hard, and that's mm -hmm. the thing. Like, Play hard, people make plays, confidence rises, and people who think like teams are young, it, 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 that evaporates. Like, it's gone because guys, guys just always do what they're supposed to do. You guys uh, appreciate a lot of you know, in today's world spread offenses and everything, and now you're playing this Wisconsin team is a little bit more traditional. What do you expect, and does, does the mindset defensively change when you're going against a team that's a little bit more traditional style? Uh, as far as for me, I think that it's, it's going to be more of a power game. Um, I think now you just you have to line up and face someone head on uh, because now it's like man on man. Like You have to defeat your man, and that's the way I look at it because they're, it's a physical offensive line. and. I mean, even from the year 2014 and watching them play everyone, it's, it's a physical game because it's traditional. I mean, two tight ends on the ball. I mean, they looking to get after it. So you have to be a physical defensive front, and that's what we've shown all year. Like, we could be physical, we could play fast. We st I mean, that's just how it is. What's the most fun aspect of playing on the road? Playing on the road. <laughs> <laughs> What's fun about it? I mean, is it against the crowd or just? Just the adversity, you know, it's, it's tough. It's tough to get a win anywhere. But when you have guys like that's so bonded together, so close, like getting the win on the road and playing hard with each other, there's no better feeling. Like, what does that toughness the, uh, do defense. for you then? Like, I mean, huh? when you overcome that toughness, you, you, you get a win on the road, what does that do for you afterwards? You know, how do you feel after that? Oh, you, you, you feel great. Honestly, you feel like, great but like you just take it well, for us it's always one week at a time you know you celebrate come in Sunday get ready to go again how, how far has the defensive line come from spring ball and how close are they to last year's units uh, I mean the defensive line like it is we always like it's just replenishing like the guys they we all like buy into what coach Johnson says Coach Johnson he's such a great coach and I mean you what he preaches and what he shows us and what we display on film, that's the culture of the defensive line. So, I mean, as far as like everyone saying how far we came along, I mean, it's always been there. And people just, it's just guys stepping up into bigger roles now. Raekwon, Raekwon um, entered the season as probably the, the biggest name on the defense. And mm -hmm. there have been others who've obviously emerged. Yes, sir. But what does he mean to, to you guys? I mean, Raekwon is like, He's the Mike linebacker, so for us, I mean, Raquan, I mean, he sets the he sets the front, and he he basically calls out where everything is going, how things are going to be operated and dictated. So <clears throat> for like, he's the heart of your defense. Besides the defensive line, he, he's like what he's what the ideal Mike linebacker is. He's the captain of the team, and he's the captain of the defense. So I mean. It, He's, he's the whole package of the defense, basically. How, how, how well has he played this year? I mean, Raquan, I mean, he is what is advertised. He's a great linebacker. He's a great teammate. And he plays well. He plays hard. He plays fast, physical. And he always, like, encourages. He's always looking to encourage. And always, like, giving somebody a pat on the back. When, when you watch the film, a couple more questions. does what Sam is doing this year remind you of Joey? from last year in the sense that the numbers might not necessarily be there, the, the sack numbers and whatnot, but you can still see him making a disruption? Uh, I mean, Sam is, Sam is Sam. So, like, he always had, like, this, the ability to, like, flip his help and give, like, great rush. And, I mean, Joey was Joey. And, I mean, Joey's a great player. Like, I mean, they both, like, extremely talented. So, 
they both like just come in, they work on that. They everyone has their own skill set, their own thing of what they're going to do and what they work on. So, I mean, credit to both of those. They, those guys, they they like work on that, and that's what they're both good at. So. As Nick, it seems like Nick is like kind of getting his feet really underneath him. He obviously made that great play on Saturday. What have you kind of seen as far as the way he's developed through the first five games? I mean, for one, I mean, he, he's a freshman, so of course there may be like, you know, some things that, like most people don't see. Like every week you could get a different look. Mm -hmm. and, but other than that, Nick, I mean, he has a great ability to like do things like that that is like similar to like Joey or some something like that as far as like flipping his hips and stuff. I mean, and that's that's like everybody, but his ability to do such a thing like that and he just you could tell like week after week how everybody like starts rising and playing better and more efficient. All right, thanks everybody. Thanks, Appreciate it.